Hello Taurus and welcome to Truth What Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your last half of September 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Taurus and Moon Rising in Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Taurus. Let's see what we have for you for the last half. Two cards. We have a fresh start. You're being given the opportunity to begin again. Allow yourself to embrace this new life and open fully to this gift that you've been given. So we have a fresh start. Stuck in lack, you have all the resources you need to carry you through, whether it's financial, emotional or physical limitations that you think you have, it is only ego-based fears taking over. Rein them in and don't give up. So we have stuck in luck and a fresh start. Let's pull you a little message from the angels for the last half of September. What do we have for Elevatorians? Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides message for Taurus. We have celebration. It is time for you to look for the joy, the delight and the wonder of every day and rejoicing, rejoice in it. When we celebrate the passing events and transitions of life, it is our way of giving thanks and the angels delight with us. Whenever possible, celebrate with others, for then great energy is raised, which attracts many angels drawn by the laughter and lightness to add their blessings. It will bond you happily with others. Angel wisdom reminds you to celebrate and honour all things large or small in your life. Find something to celebrate now. Your affirmation for the last half. My life is a celebration. Let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Taurians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Last half of September. What do we have for Taurus? Message for Taurus. Let's do one more shuffle. Message for Taurus. Two cards. Six of Wands has come out reversed. We have the Two of Pentacles. So it looks like there is an opportunity to get some kind of victory, but it might well be an alternative path here. Uh, it might well be a change in direction of some kind. Or there's, there's another way around something, is what I'm getting here. We have the moon, trusting your intuition, always linked with hidden blessings. We have the emperor. The king of pentacles is Taurus for me in the minor arcana, male or female, this is you. Solid, secure, stable. The king of pentacles is also achievement, abundance. Uh, financially successful, understands how to manifest money. There's the lack card, the five of pentacles. We have the eight of swords. We have the eight of cups. And we have the nine of swords. I think that there is, I mean, it's like I said at the beginning, there may well be a situation that you're faced with here, Taurus, where the path that you thought um, might have been for you is not the path of, of success anymore. And it might well be that there is some alternative route, a change needs to happen here. The two of pentacles can be 
it can be adaptability, flexibility, the opportunity to move from what was to what will be. Uh, but it, it can be being more flexible in terms of approach, in terms of what you're looking for here. But it feels like it's time. Something is causing you to, to take action and set things in motion in terms of moving from A to B, in moving from what was to what will be, so to speak. Because it, it just feels like there's, there's an alternative path for you, but a certain path might not be for you anymore. I mean, the, this is about trusting your intuition because spirit is watching over you here. The moon is, is very spiritual energy. And sometimes we have fears, we, we're uncertain, uh, emotions can be high. The, the moon energy can be bring out those innate fears within us as well. Uh, doubts, uncertainty, something is uncertain here, all is not clear to you. But your intuition is. With regard to the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles is that sense here of feeling lack. And it feels in this situation abundant lack. Uh, it might well be that there's a fear here that there's going to be some loss, financial loss. Uh, you might feel that you're going to be put out in the cold. Um, however, that would manifest for you. But... As with all the fives, all is not lost in this situation. You are actually being watched over here. The Emperor and the Eight of Swords is, is taking control of your thoughts. Because there is a sense here of you feel something happening here that there is going to be lost. But there's stuck energy in that respect. I don't know how to move forward. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what, what, which way I'm going to go. Things are beyond my control. But the energy is, no, it isn't. There is an opportunity to take control of your thoughts and make something happen here. Empire build, even. Because, again, the Nine of Swords and the Eight of, Eight of Cups, uncertainty in the fact that you might have to leave somewhere. But remember, the Eight of Cups always walks towards the Nine of Cups. I don't know. It's like that there is something happening here but there's a feeling of things being beyond your control and we can get that kind of negative mindset or feeling trapped in our own head if we're not careful and it's about taking control of your thoughts and how you're perceiving something here because spirit is trying to bring you in some hidden blessing and you know this just feels like a blessing in disguise you don't know why you're being guided to some kind of alternative path here but spirit is telling you that there is a fresh start and there will be reasons to celebrate but Whatever you're leaving or walking away from here or needing to, I mean, I don't know if it's your, it doesn't, doesn't look like your choice, to be honest, um, is causing you a degree of stress and uncertainty. But a lot of that time, this is mental energy when we can't see the wood for the trees. This is why spirit is telling you, take control of your thoughts. Because you, when you come into your own, the king of pentacles is practical, grounded, uses the king's practical abilities and know-how and experience within that to manifest success. So this is about remember who you are. Let's see what we have for you. So what's going to happen next for Taurus? Thank you, the chat. <laughs> We have the Three of Wands and Victory. Yeah, it's, you, you are being, you're taking action and potentially opening up your world, you know, whether you, you're choosing to do that or not. You're having to broaden your horizons in some way. But Spirit is telling you where Victory isn't on a path that you thought it was on, it is on an alternative path here. The Chariot, the Three of Wands, this is your ships are coming in. They're not in the harbour yet, but your ships are coming into harbour. Some of you could also be working notice periods or fearing that something is going to happen in terms of lack because your instinct might be telling you that. But your instinct is always guiding you through this as well. The chariot is a victory, triumph, success, moving from A to B, moving from what was to what will be, which is what you're doing. Things are in flux at the moment. 
But the last half of September is telling you that if you take action now and take control of your thoughts, your mind, even though it's not necessarily easy, you know, there is a clear path to victory and triumph and success for you. It is an alternative direction and it is into the unknown. But everything happens for a reason and this feels like a blessing in disguise. However that manifests for you. Okay, what do we have for Taurus? Thank you. Shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. It's your time to shine. The King of Pentacles is the height of the pentacle suit. Their success here even though you might be leaving somewhere or walking away from something. It could even be your own business as well. That would be the same message. A magical gateway, yeah. It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown, yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Yeah. Why? Because the Eight of Cups walks towards the nine of cups greater fulfillment happiness and joy even though they don't always know it taurus that's what i have for you for but you need to you might need to be a bit more flexible in your approach so just bear that in mind if you feel that you're being regimented in this in some way here taurus this is about opening your pure world being open being completely open to the unknown and what comes your way and see what's coming because I think spirit is likely bringing you the solution here. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful last half of September and I will see you next time.